the U.S. military is preparing to establish a port on the remote northernmost islands of the Philippines. This development could enhance American access to strategically situated islands that are in proximity to Taiwan. The potential U.S. military involvement in establishing a port on the Batanes Islands, located less than 200 kilometers from Taiwan, has the potential to increase tensions. This comes amid growing friction between the United States and China, and as Washington seeks to strengthen its long-standing defense treaty engagement with the Philippines. The Bashi Channel, situated between the Batanes Islands and Taiwan, is a critical passage for vessels traveling between the Western Pacific and the contested South China Sea. It's also a significant waterway in the event of a potential Chinese invasion of Taiwan. The Chinese military frequently deploys ships and aircraft through this channel, as reported by Taiwan's Defense Ministry. Merilu Kiko, the provincial governor of the Batanes Islands, has confirmed that she requested funding from the United States for the construction of an alternative port on the islands. This port would be designed to facilitate the unloading of cargo from the Philippine capital, Manila, especially during adverse weather conditions in the monsoon season. She revealed that the proposed plan involves constructing a port on Bosco Island. This is in response to the challenges posed by high waves that frequently render the existing port inaccessible. A decision regarding this project is expected to be made in October. In the past year, the Philippines has significantly increased the number of military bases that U.S. forces can access, primarily for humanitarian assistance purposes. Additionally, there are thousands of U.S. troops present in the Philippines at various times, participating in joint training exercises through rotations. China has expressed concerns that these U.S. actions are contributing to regional tensions. The Chinese embassy in Manila has not yet provided a response or comment regarding the proposed port in Bosco. Two Filipino officials have stated that U.S. troops visited Batanes recently to engage in discussions regarding the proposed port. A senior military official mentioned that the Filipino armed forces have an interest in radar systems and enhancing monitoring capabilities in the area as part of their discussions with U.S. troops regarding the port. Governor Merilu Kiko has confirmed the visit of U.S. troops, stating that they came one time to assess the proposed alternative port project. The U.S. engagement in discussions about the proposed port in the Philippines is for supporting relationships with Asian nations. It is also for countering China's influence in the Asia-Pacific region. This includes the Philippines, which is both a former colony of the U.S. and a treaty ally. Under the previous presidency of Rodrigo Duterte, there were threats to terminate the U.S.-Philippines alliance and align the country more closely with Beijing. However, relations between China and the Philippines have experienced increased tensions under the current president, Marcos. President Marcos has pursued closer ties with Washington. This has included granting the United States access to four additional military bases, some of which are in proximity to Taiwan, although not in Batanes. He has also announced joint patrols with the U.S. in the South China Sea. He indicated that the military bases could serve as an important asset in the event of a conflict involving Taiwan and China. Officials in Manila expressed that any military conflict in the Taiwan Strait would likely have repercussions for the Philippines. This is due to the country's geographic proximity to Taiwan and the significant Filipino population residing on the island which numbers over 150,000 individuals. Batanes played a role as one of the training sites during this year's joint military exercises, known as Balakartan. These exercises involved over 17,000 Filipino and American troops, marking it as the largest ever edition of this military drill. On the other side, tensions between the Philippines and China have escalated in recent months particularly over disputed waters in the South China Sea. There have been incidents where Chinese vessels fired water cannons at Filipino vessels attempting to deliver supplies to an outpost. The situation is fueling maritime disputes in the region.